Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. My name is Delia. For all of you that are new, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel. On my channel, you're going to find all cash stuffing videos, monthly budget with me, bi-weekly budget with me, all cash stuffing videos. I'm on a journey to becoming debt free and I always pray to God that someday my prayers will be answered. Just a quick intro, I was a stay at home mom for a couple of years. I got a very small job and then I moved on to becoming a kindergarten teacher. That's where I am at now. My husband is the breadwinner. He's been the breadwinner for years. Most of my income is goes towards paying a car loan and also towards paying debt. So that's where we've been focusing our income on. If my husband has a little bit of extra income, like $100 goes towards my car payment and sometimes I pay it, sometimes he does out of his income. That way my income can go fully towards our debt. That's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be cash stuffing our bills are top priority. I don't know if I'll be doing any cash stuffing into our sinking funds. We'll see how much money we have left over and if we are able to do that. I have this transparent little baggie. Actually, this is from when my son went to the dentist, they gave him a toothbrush in here. And I thought it was very cute compared to my big old transparent one. I thought this one was a little bit cuter. I would have preferred if it was like smaller. I mean, that's totally fine. I like the way that it is. So let's do our counting, count all this cash and see how much we have. So what I do have is my monthly budget form and I'm looking at it right now. So I'm able to know where this cash is going to go. Any cash left over because sometimes I don't know the exact amount that my husband is going to get paid. So any leftover cash goes used to go towards sinking funds. But I'm not doing that. I'm trying to apply it towards our snowball debt. So we'll go I'll I will go over that right now. They gave me these $50 bills and I'm just so worried. I had to like I had to bend them a little bit because I was afraid that they were sticking together. Can you imagine going to the store and paying a bill? or grocery store and then giving them two $50 bills. That's a lot of money. So I'm like, I don't want to risk it. I have 50 and 50, that's 100 plus another 100. Just want to make sure. Plus 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1. 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, plus 20, 40, 60, 80, 1. So let's do another 100 plus a 20, plus 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 dollars, plus 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70 dollars in fives plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve dollars in ones. That is a total of eight hundred dollars and ninety two. Sorry, that is a total of eight hundred and ninety two. Now we got to find out where we're going to be putting that cash. The bills that we pay for with this first paycheck of the month of March are Lowe's, which we used to pay a credit card for Lowe's. But right now I'm just going to be putting that towards our credit card debt. But we're going to skip that one for now because that's part of it. I cash stuff, which is my pink one, which is the sinking funds. And I know that I need to change my budget trackers. Friends, I don't have time for it right now, but I, I know I have to get to it. I was telling my husband that I feel as if my life is on pause right now, right now that I'm a kindergarten teacher and I'm working a lot. And finally, I finished with the lesson planning for the third quarter, so I don't have to be doing that. That's going to the next teacher because we do, we have four teachers, we have four kindergarten teachers in our school. So 
finally I'm done. I'll have a little bit more time, which I don't have to be doing the lesson planning, but I, I don't have time, friends. I barely have time to, I work a lot and then I come home late, I eat dinner, shower, and I have to go to sleep early because I'm tired and I have to get ready for the next day. And then the weekends I clean and do meal prepping. That way we have some food to eat during the week. So I'm pretty busy. So sorry, I'll get to changing my budget sheets sometime, hopefully. I did want like a, I wanted to switch it up. Like I wanted to fix up my little binder, but you know what, it is what it is. Trash company that uh, our trash that, that's been paid for, sewer is $80. I don't even remember what's in here because I um, I haven't been doing cash stuffings. I've just been keeping everything in the envelope from the bank, which is bad because we were overspending and or not keeping track of where my, our money was going. So we have Hulu here, car insurance, la 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 la. Okay, I'll do, you know what, I'm going to have to... I didn't think I was going to bring out my my sinking funds binder, but I guess I will get it since I need to cash stuff. Sewer, right here, 80 bucks. And I'm hoping I have enough cash. 20, 40, 60, 80, I mean enough loose change. Because I didn't even ask for the, ex I, just, I just asked for several bills today. I'm too busy to even keep track of how many bills I needed. Car loan, 450, that one's over here. I'll use the 50s, 100, 200, 20, whoops, 20, 40, 50. I'm kind of in a hurry, friends. I don't know if you can tell. So my son went to catechism and my husband went to go pick him up. And they'll be here pretty soon. And I just want to hurry up and do this cash stuffing. So 450s in here, groceries. I'm just going to cash stuff. $100 because we've spent a little extra, which it's nothing new. Food prices are so high, 20, 40, 60, 81. I'm just gonna cash stuff 100 because we went a little bit over last uh, last time we went grocery shopping, so I can't stuff too much. And I wish I could say I don't wanna spend a lot, but we end up spending a lot. Gas is $80. Again, I don't even know where my envelopes are for that is it over here I'm sorry I'm just gonna be all over the place with this video where's my gas groceries gas so for gas wow we have ten dollars now I'm going to cash stuff I normally cash stuff 80 but we already spent uh, 40 so I'm just gonna put 40 dollars here I'm not even going to write it down. And then um, car insurance is $100. 20, 40, 60, 81. That one's over here. It's not. Hmm, that's over here. $100 for car insurance. What else, what else? Hulu is $15. Oh, I think I saw it over here. I'm telling you, I'm sorry, but I'm all over the place. $15 for Hulu. You can tell I'm a bit nervous, just trying to hurry up. Okay, what else, what else, what else? Haircuts, $50. Um, 20, 40, and 50. Okay, what else? Medical, that's, uh, that's in auto pay, but sometimes I cash stuff and then I have to Put it back in the bank, so that one we already got that taken care of. Okay, I don't want to miss anything. Um, 20, 40. I used to cash stuff the rest of the cash into our savings. Car maintenance, um, emergency cash, holidays, toiletries, birthdays, clothing. 
so many sinking funds that I used to have, but I have since then eliminated them and just put whatever's left into our snowball debt. So that's 20, 40, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Oh, because you know what? $100 goes towards our credit card, which I'm still going to put it there. And that might be, instead of like credit card, because my husband used to help me out with uh, with our credit card, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. What I've been doing is I've been paying our car loan or my car loan with this. And then all the income that I get in with my job, I apply all of it towards our um, debt, credit card debt. So that's that. And how many much is left over? 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 145, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. That's 150. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now the, these $7, I'm going to use them for my school lunch, which I think I'm only going to buy school lunch once this week because there's only... One thing that I like is the baked chicken. I used to eat the school lunch all the time, but I just, it's not that I got tired of it. It's just that I can bring my own lunch. You know, I can make a sandwich. I can get a salad. I can make other things around the house instead of buying school lunch, which is not a lot. It's 4 50 but still, I can just make something at home. So I've been doing that, trying to save money as well. So one, two, three, four, like it, I'm only going to have like one lunch here and then Save $2 for next time. So this is going towards my school lunch. And then this is going to our snowball deck, which was 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 160. It's going to our snowball debt which I put it somewhere over here there it is I'll just put it in here and I'm pretty happy with this cash stuffing this is my favorite one this is my favorite video to do the cash stuffings and also I like to cash stuff with the first paycheck because this is when um this is when I get to put money towards our singing funds. With the next check, it's to pay our home mortgage and all these other bills that I don't have money to save or to put towards fun stuff or towards snowball debt. This is like the this is my first time that I'm actually going to be keeping track of like the third check for the month of March. So we'll see how that goes because usually we don't end up saving as much since it's it's a bit confusing to me to be honest. So I I really want to know how you do it when there's like a third check. Let me tell you why it's confusing. Now, the first check is to, to pay our all of our bills that normally get paid with the first check. Now, the second paycheck is normally to pay off all of the bills that we do with the second check, right? So all that's gone. Now, the third paycheck in March is more towards the end of the month. So those, So that check is to pay the bills for the beginning of the next month in April. And that's why I can sit. That's why I'm saying it's a bit confusing that way. So I'll probably be able to save some, but I know I can never save all of it or I'm not doing things right. So we'll see how that goes. Stay, stay tuned. Keep on watching my videos and then uh, you'll find out how I'm going to um, budget that third check. Well, friends, thank you so much for watching once again. May God bless each and every one of you all. Take care and I will see you all in my next video. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.